Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss properties of arithmetic mean. Now we know that for given data, the arithmetic mean is the sum of observations over number of observations. Now the first property of arithmetic mean is the algebraic sum of the deviations. of a set of values from where arithmetic mean is 0. Now let us start with its proof. Now let xi where i is equal to 1, 2 and so on up to n be the set of values and f be the corresponding frequencies of a frequency distribution Then, the algebraic sum of the deviations from the arithmetic mean is given by summation f into xi minus x bar the whole, where i varies from 1 to n, is equal to f1 into x1 minus x bar the whole plus f2 into x2 minus x bar the whole plus f3 into x3 minus x part the whole plus so on up to fn into xn minus x bar the whole which is further equal to f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus f3 x3 plus so on up to fn xn the whole minus x1 into f1 plus f2 plus so on up to fn the whole. Now this expression can also be written as summation fi xi where i varies from 1 to n minus x bar into now this expression can be written as summation fi where i varies from 1 to n. Now we know that the arithmetic mean of a given set of values that is x bar is equal to summation fi xi where i varies from 1 to n whole upon capital N which implies capital N into x bar is equal to summation fi xi where i varies from 1 to n and also capital N is equal to Summation f5 where i varies from 1 to n. So now putting this value, this will be equal to capital N into x bar minus, now summation f5 where i varies from 1 to n is equal to capital N, so this is equal to capital N into x bar which is further equal to 0. Hence, the algebraic sum of the deviations of the set of values from their arithmetic mean is equal to 0. Hence, we have proved the first property. Now, let us start with the second property of the arithmetic mean and that is the sum of the squares of the deviations of a set of values is minimum 
वन टेकन अबाउट द मीन लेट एस स्टार्ट विद इट्स प्रूफ नाउ लेट एक्स आई ओवर एफ आई वेर आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री एंड सो वन अप टू एन बी अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेट इज For x1 observation, f1 is the frequency. For x2 observation, f2 is the frequency, and so on. Now let s is equal to summation f i into x i minus a whole square, where i varies from 1 to n. B the sum. of the squares of the deviations of given values from the arbitrary point a now we have to prove that s is minimum when a is equal to x bar that is we have to prove that the sum of the squares of the deviations is minimum when taken about the mean where x bar is the mean Now let this be equation number one. Now in this equation, on differentiating s with respect to a, we get ds over dA is equal to minus two into summation. f i into x i minus a the whole where i varies from 1 to n now for maximum or minimum the derivative of s with respect to a will be equal to 0 that is ds over dA is equal to 0 Which implies minus two into summation f i into x i minus a the whole, where i varies from one to n is equal to zero. Which implies summation f i into x i minus a the whole, where i varies from one to n is equal to zero. Which further gives summation f i x i where i varies from one to n. Minus summation f i into a, where i varies from one to n, is equal to zero, which further implies summation f i x i, where i varies from one to n, is equal to summation f i into a, where i varies from one to n. Now this gives summation. f i x i where i varies from 1 to n is equal to a into summation f i where i varies from 1 to n now this further implies summation f i x i where i varies from 1 to n is equal to a into capital n because summation f i where i varies from 1 to n is equal to capital n This further implies a is equal to one by capital N into summation f i x i where i varies from one to n. This gives a is equal to x bar because.
information f y x i where i varies from 1 to n all from capital n is equal to x bar that is the arithmetic mean now for ds over da is equal to 0 we are writing a is equal to x bar this means that either s is maximum or minimum at a is equal to x bar now for checking this we will find the second derivative of s with respect to a that is d square s over d a square and if d square s over d a square is less than 0 then s is maximum and if d square s over d a square is greater than 0 then s is minimum now this is d s over d a So d square s over d a square will be equal to 2 into summation f i where i varies from 1 to n which further implies d square s over d a square is equal to 2 into capital N because summation f i where i varies from 1 to n is equal to capital N which is that is 2 into n is greater than 0 this means that we are getting d square s over d a square greater than 0 hence s is minimum when a is equal to x bar therefore the sum of the square of the deviations of a set of values is minimum when taken about the mean. So in this fashion you have learned about the properties of arithmetic mean. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.